weathering, erosion, and deposition. The Earth's surface is constantly changing. Weathering is the breakdown of the materials of Earth's crust into smaller pieces. Physical weathering is the process by which rocks are broken down into smaller pieces by external conditions. The types of physical weathering includes frost heaving and frost wedging, plant roots, friction and impact, burrowing of animals, temperature changes. Frost wedging is caused by the freezing and thawing of water, that seeps into cracks of rocks. Expanding water as it freezes slowly, breaks up this rock into unusual shapes. Frost heaving is the upward displacement or swelling of soil and rock due to frost action. Abrasion is caused by the rubbing and or bouncing of rocks with each other. Exfoliation or unloading is the peeling away of large sheets of loosened materials in the rock. Biological activities are caused by an organism's activities such as plants, burrowing animals and humans. Here is the action of plant roots on rocks. Here is the action of burrowing animals on rocks. Temperature changes cause rock to expand, with heat, and contract, with cold. The structure of the rock weakens. Over time, it crumbles. As the wind blows, it picks up small particles of sand, and blasts large rocks with the abrasive particles, cutting and shaping the rock. Here is the action of blowing sand on rocks. A glacier is a large, river of ice that moves very slowly downhill. Glaciers are formed over many years, as large amounts of snow, fall, and accumulate. The snow compacts, and changes to ice. Stuck in the bottom of the glacier are stones of various sizes, that wear away the rock under the glacier, as it moves downhill. Chemical weathering is the process that breaks down rock, through chemical changes. The agents of chemical weathering include water, oxygen, carbon dioxide, living organisms, and acid rain. Water weathers rock by dissolving it. When water in waterfalls, rivers and streams move over rock, the rocks are weathered broken into smaller and smaller pieces. Fast running water causes rocks to hit one another, breaking them into smaller rocks. Oxygen plus water plus iron equals rust. This chemical reaction is called oxidation. A 
Upon oxidation, rock will become crumbly, soft, and appear reddish-brown in color. Iron combines with oxygen in the presence of water, in a process called oxidation. The product of oxidation is rust. Carbon dioxide or CO2 plus rainwater results to carbonic acid. Carbonic acid weathers softer rock like limestone and marble, as it seeps into spaces in rock. Some examples are sinkholes and caves. Carbon dioxide or CO2 dissolves in rainwater, and creates carbonic acid. Carbonic acid easily weathers limestone, and marble caves, and sinkholes, which results from chemical weathering. Action of living organisms Lichens that grow on rocks, produce weak acids, that chemically weather rock. Chemical weathering is mainly caused by the action of water. Rainwater contains small amounts of acid. When it comes into contact with rock, the acid attacks and causes the rock to rot and crumble away. Water and heat make chemical weathering happen faster, so it is greatest in places that are warm and wet. Compounds from burning coal, oil, and gas react chemically with water forming acids. Acid rain causes very rapid chemical weathering. Karst topography. It is a type of landscape in rainy regions where there is limestone near the surface, characterized by caves, sinkholes, and disappearing streams. It is created by chemical weathering of limestone. Here are examples of sinkholes. Here are examples of caves. These are examples of disappearing streams. Erosion It's a process by which water, ice, wind or gravity moves fragments of rock and soil. Water erosion On rivers, streams, and runoff. Fast moving streams and rivers carry big and small rocks downstream. Slower moving water carries smaller rocks and soil downstream. Moving water can also cause soil erosion, carrying the soil away, to a different location. Sometimes the side of the hill is washed away by running water. The soil and rocks move down the hill in a landslide. Canyons are large valleys created by a river or stream. Canyons demonstrate both weathering, the breaking down of rock into smaller pieces, and erosion, these pieces of rock being moved to a new location. This is a visualization of how the Colorado River has down cut into the rock layers of the Grand Canyon. Ice erosion 
glaciers. Wind erosion. Mass movements. Landslides, mudslides, slump, and creep. Deposition. Where a river meets the ocean is called the mouth of the river. Soil carried by a river is deposited at the mouth, and new land is formed. This new soil rich land, is known as a delta. Sand dunes are large deposits of sand, dropped when the wind stopped blowing. The location of the sand dune shifts frequently. Glacial Deposition A moraine is the rocks and soil, left behind by a melting glacier. Glaciers pick up rocks and dirt, that travel along with the glacier, until it eventually melts, and is left behind as till. When glaciers melt, they drop or deposit the rocks they were carrying. Although we talk about weathering, erosion, and deposition, as three separate processes, they often occur together. Over time, rocks are generally broken into smaller pieces, weathering, carried downhill, erosion, and deposited in a new location, deposition.